Hey there everyone, today I have the pleasure of working on an Avaya partner system. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour before I dive in on it. And you know, backing up, this is in a break room, which is pretty common, unfortunately. And so what do we got going on here? Well, let's start with the power. So they very smartly have installed a UPS. It's not maybe the best way to put it in, but at least they've got some protection and some backup power, which is great. Then that goes to what's known as a, uh, uh, what's it called, Tower Max? It's like a, it's, it's a combo surge suppressor for electricity, but you can also add on these little modules on top of it. So this is like a, like this by itself is a standalone uh, plug bar with protection built into it. And then you can also, these, these little things, like they kind of like mount on top of it and they give you protection for your CO lines. So your phone lines come in on one side and from the telco and go out to the phone system on the other side. Um, not sure what they got going on with that little white block right there, but I suspect it's got something to do with the telco. And let's see. So here's your phone system. Now I'm not an Avaya partner guru by any means. In fact, I just only know enough to be dangerous or do what I'm told to do. But I do know that these usually work on, like what you have is like a back plane, which is this, this cabinet right here. And then you'll have like a master card or what you might call the main card. Like this is a 509, um, which means it's got five CO ports with uh, nine available uh, station ports. And then also it's got the slots for the partner mail. So these PCIe cards, uh, or at least one of them handles the, uh, the voicemail. So if they see those cards, it's related to the voicemail. Uh, the other, actually one of those cards might be doing something else, but I know one's related to voicemail. And then of course you got, what do you got there? You've got a uh, ethernet port and a contact closure port, okay? Now you can have additional cards on top of that, like this one and this one. These are, uh, what are these things, 30, 308s, 306s, let me see. They're the 308s, which means you get three more CO ports and then eight more station ports. So that's how you kind of expand them. And as you can see, there's space here for two more ports, all right? So that's the phone system. So what happens is your CO lines go in these little top ones up here. I guess they're only using, I don't know, like five, maybe six lines. And then the station ports, which it looks like they're using, I don't know, nine plus eight plus eight, but they may not have that many phones, but they might be wired for that many jacks. And then those wires come out and then they, you know, kind of come down and around and then they feed the 66 blocks and then the 66 blocks have the wiring or at least one of them is the 66 block from the phone system and then they cross connect over to the 66 that leads out to the station cables. So these wires here all lead out to into the ceiling and go to the station cables. So wherever the phones are located is where these wires go. And these are just, what are these things? These are just Cat 3s, just Cat 3 cable. Uh, looks like they're maybe not even four pair, so. Let's see. Uh, oh, also they've got this music on hold. This is pretty common. So so you've got this device, could be anything. You used to see old tape tape players, actually, but this is digital. It's, it's a digital music on hold. So you've got like a little uh, RCIA connector here, which, and, or sorry, RCA connector, and then that comes back up to the phone system and goes in right here where it says music on hold. All right, so if you have to find your way around it via partner system sometime, that might help you uh, at least be somewhat familiar with, uh, with how that works and what that's all about. All right, thanks for watching.